Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm finally unboxing my Lush Cosmetics Advent Calendar for Christmas 2021. It has arrived on my doorstep today. I have got it right here next to me and I'm going to show you what's inside. So obviously if you're saving this for Christmas for December, um, probably don't watch this video because it's full of spoilers of where all the gifts are located under the numbers and all that sort of thing. So yeah, maybe hold off on watching this until December. <laughs> um, so these products in here are all the products that I have yet to review for the Christmas 2021 range. Um, there are some exclusive products in here that are not available for purchase in the Christmas 2021 range. There's four of them, I believe. Um, so yeah, really excited to look inside. Now, if you are looking for any of the other Christmas 2021 reviews or some of the repeat products from Christmas 2020 that have come back for 2021, all of those reviews are in my Lush Reviews playlist. Or if you're looking for a specific item, you can just search my channel name into the YouTube search bar with the product that you are looking to purchase or potentially purchase. So let's get into it. So first of all, this box <laughs> it's a little heavy it's not super heavy but there's a lot going on here so this is what it looks like um I love the design I think this is my favorite design of all of them this is my first year buying the advent calendar box thing uh brand new for Christmas I have bought like old advent calendars off people that haven't had like everything in them and stuff like that but this is my first year buying one for my own and yeah love this floral design it's right up my alley it does have the two handles on the side that's what you're hearing sort of clacking around the handles and it does have the little levers on the front like it normally does but this time around they actually pop how good's that because the ones from the past have been sort of push-up levers which I know even for me, as someone who normally doesn't struggle with those sorts of things, they can sort of get stuck and they're hard to open. But with these sort of push-up levers, you don't have to worry about it. So that's always good. Okay, so. Oh, oh trying to show you guys. So I've opened the lid now. And the first thing on top of the lid is the ingredients um, list and the things that are naked in here that are not uh on the don't have ingredients on the package such as the shower gels do i'm going to try and show you this i think the lid's going to fall down but i'll try and show you the top there we go so it's got the first set of numbers on the top so i am going to dive straight into it i am just going to oh there's a lot going on here i'm just going to lift this off if i can yes so you can lift the board off. You don't have to keep it on there if you don't want to. Okay. And as always, I can't really show you on camera, but if you've had an advent calendar before, it's the same as past years. It's double layered um, with the products. And yeah, they've got this sort of um, paper noodle type thing, keeping it nice and together. And yeah, it's got the little basket things to that you can lift up or yeah all right let's let's get into it oh excuse me okay so the first one is number 12 that I've got. actually you know what we'll go in order stuff it number one <laughs> we'll go in order <laughs> so I've got a little size of the yognog shower gel this is a classic Christmas favorite at Lush it comes back pretty much every year um I've still got some from 2019 I mean I've that's sort of my first Christmas that I really got into Lush. If you're unfamiliar with the Yognog shower gel or what that scent is, it's basically like a caramelly spicy kind of scent. It smells kind of like cloves and cinnamon and it's quite sweet as well. Um, so yeah, if you like sweet scents with a little bit of like a cinnamony, clovey, spicy kind of vibe, you would like this. And I do already have a review on this on my channel. If I have reviews on these, I will leave them linked down below in the description box. Um, but yeah, please stay tuned for the reviews on the other ones if I haven't linked a review yet. Okay, so number two is this one here. Oh, okay. This is the little Snow Fairy Roll bubble bar. 
I have done a review on this already because it was a part of the Christmas 2020 range. It is a non-reusable bubble bar. You crumble it under the tap when you want to use it, or alternatively, you can chop it up and sieve it into the bath uh, like when it's streaming down. It's up to you. You can do whichever way you like. Um, now, this size, you could probably get two baths out of it if you're careful about it um, and depending on how much you want to use. Now, the Snow Fairy scent is another classic Lush scent. Basically, it's a bubblegummy, fairy floss, candy floss kind of scent. Um, so, yeah, you do have to like sweet scents to enjoy it. Once again, it's not sort of fruity or anything like that, even though they usually have Persian lime or lime oil in them. The lime isn't there. So sometimes with Lush, if you're fairly new to Lush, sometimes when you look at the ingredients, they're not like the scent ingredients. They're not exactly what you would think it would be. So it's always important to try and watch reviews or test things out in store or smell things in store before purchasing them if you can. So that's my top tip. Okay, number three. Yes, number three. Aha, this is the one I was excited about. And this was probably one of the things that really swayed me into buying this advent calendar. This is the Merry Christmas shower gel. This is a brand new shower gel. It's never been done before. Um, it is exclusive to the advent calendar. You cannot buy this um, at the stores. Uh, so the scent ingredients, I'll just go through the scent ingredients really quickly. It's got cocoa absolute almond essential oil and that's it. So it's meant to be cocoa and almond basically. So I'm going to give it a smell. It looks very similar to Hot Toddy, if you've ever had the Hot Toddy shower gel. It's just that the luster is more gold than red, if that makes sense. Okay, let's smell it. Oh! Okay. Easiest way to describe this. If you're quite familiar with Lush, it smells kind of like the Butterball scent combined with um, the Snow Cake scent. So it smells quite chocolatey, but it does have that almond side to it. If you're not sort of familiar with Lush, I would basically describe it as a chocolatey almondy scent. I think that's the easiest way to describe it. It's really creamy. It's very sweet. I really love this. Um, I love sweet scents in general, but I'm not like as big as on, on them as I used to be, if you get what I mean. But, oh, this is so good. This needs to come back next year as a full time product like a full christmas product you know i don't think it would be appropriate to have merry christmas shower gel all year round but um yeah and it's got like this almost like candy like smell not like snow fairy but it smells like a chocolatey almondy candy that's the best way to describe it and look i'm normally not a fan of almond but this just smells really nutty without being too I don't know, too much. It's really nice. I'm quite surprised. There we go. Okay, so where is number four? Number four is this one. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a new one. Okay, so this is a new one for 2021. I've forgotten what this is called. I think it's called Sleepy Bear or something. Let's have a look. Sleepy Bear. I was right. It is called Sleepy Bear. Um, so, yes, this is in the famous Sleepy Scent family uh, slash Twilight Scent family that... Lush has done so many products in over the years. It's not even funny how many products are scented this way. It's basically um, a lavender, tonka, benzoin, tonka and benzoin are both vanilla scents, and lang lang uh, together in a bath bomb. I can't really smell it very well through this sort of clear packaging, and I'm not going to open them right now just until I'm ready to review them. Um, but I can smell that it smells like sleepy. So that's a good sign. Um, it's got these sort of little noodly, purpley noodly things on the top. So it'll be interesting to see what they're like in the water. Oh, actually, they're not noodly things. Now that I look at them closely, they're actually pieces of lavender. Oh, okay. That's awesome. They're dyed. The, the pieces of lavender have been thrown in some dye of some kind. So they look extra purple. Ooh, there we go. So I'll be excited to share my thoughts about that one with you. Okay, so number five. Where's number five? It's above Merry Christmas. Okay, another sleepy scented product. And I already have a review of this on my channel. This is the Sleepy Bubble Bar. This is actually an all year round product. You can buy this currently in Lush's range. 
Like I said, I have done a review on this a long time ago, so I won't go too far into it now, but it is the same scent as the bath bomb I just described. Oh, it's so good. And the lavender is really, really strong. So if you're looking for like a lavender relaxing kind of smell, definitely go for the sleepy bubble bar. That one is a non-reusable bubble bar, but it's quite big. You could easily get like four baths out of it, three to four baths, if you sort of cut it up right and used it right. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty special one. And the design, I love the design. It's a pretty cool design. Let me just turn it around. There we go. Like the clouds and stuff. It's very relaxing. I like that sort of theme. Okay, so number six, aha, uh -huh, I've done a review on this as well. This is the Polar Bear Soap. Now, this is the 2021 version. It's just a little bit different in terms of the design, but it is exactly the same as the Christmas 2020 one one <laughs> if you bought that or have that one so i will leave the review link down below if you're interested um it looks exactly the same it's basically a sweet mint scent um i can smell a little bit of it through the um paper i mean not paper cellophane this is biodegradable cellophane by the way it's not like plasticky cellophane um i'm just double checking the scent ingredients it's got benzoin resinoid, rose absolute, almond essential oil, and cassie absolute. Huh? Maybe it is different this year. I didn't think it was different. I. It's meant to have a peppermint smell. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, deep diving, and I will unwrap this when I get off camera and see if it's meant to smell the same. Hmm. Okay. I'm a bit confused now because I thought it was the same smell as last year as well, but I might have been wrong. But yeah, I can't really smell it properly through the wraps, so I will let you know. But like I've said before on the channel, certain scent notes, just because it has certain scent notes, it doesn't mean that it's meant to smell that way. But I don't know. It does smell less smelly than what I thought it was going to be. That's what I will say, but hmm. all right, we'll get there. Okay, under number seven, aha, uh -huh. so this is one of the exclusive products. It's called Penguin something. Christmas Penguin, there we go. So this is Christmas Penguin. Uh, yes, exclusive to the advent calendar only. I think this is an old Christmas product. Someone let me know the last time you've seen this in the Lush range. Um, I've never used this. I've never seen this before. Uh, the scent notes read bergamot oil, Sicilian lemon, orange flower, absolute Sicilian red mandarin oil. So it's pretty citrusy. It's got gardenia extract as well. But when it says gardenia extract, it's normally not a front and center kind of scent. Oh, I can smell a citrusy scent. But once again, because of the wrap, it's a little bit hard to smell it. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's very strong citrus scent. Yeah. Smells quite similar to Brightside, um, the bubble bar, if you've ever smelt that. But yes, I think it smells very strongly of like orange and lemon. That's basically what I'm smelling just from the initial smell. Okay, so the next one along. Okay, this is a brand new uh, bath bomb for Christmas 2021 and this is the Hey Hollywood bath bomb this is one of the ones I think I'm most excited for just because the design's really beautiful for a start it's got this beautiful luster on it it's got the holly on the top it's just something beautiful and different it also is scented in the maypole scent Lush used to sell a maypole soap until late last year they discontinued it um, and a lot of people loved the maypole soap. So that was a really sad time for a lot of Lushies. Um, so I think they kind of were making up for it by making this bath bomb. <laughs> so maypole, if you're not familiar with it, once again, it's sort of like a sweet peppermint scent. Compared to, say, Polar Bear and the soap from last year that I was talking about earlier, maypole is more sweet. Less pepperminty and more sweet than Polar Bear, if you've ever had that before. Oh, yep. Yeah. Smells like maypole to me. It's quite sweet, though. Like, it, it almost smells like maple syrupy. Let me see what it says for the ingredients. Peppermint oil. That's the only scent ingredient. 
Um, there's no mention of like maple syrup or anything, but it kind of smells maple syrupy. You know how maple syrup kind of has not like a caramelly note, but just like a sweetness that's different from sugar, say. It's just got that different smell to it. Um, so yeah, I like I like the smell of that. I think that'll be one of my favorites, but you'll have to wait and see for the review. Now, number nine. Okay, now this is one I have done a review on. Uh, this is Lime Bounty Body Butter. Um, they did have this sort of as a limited release late last year, and then they decided to bring it, um, I think it was through the kitchen box. Was it through a kitchen subscription box? I think it might have been. And then it was quite popular, and so they decided to bring it back as an all-year-round product. It is sort of like a green lotion. Um, it does have some pieces in there. They're coconut butter pieces or cocoa butter, should I say, not coconut butter. Um, yeah, so Lime Bounty, as you would imagine, does have a lime kind of scent to it, but it's also got a coconutty scent to it as well. It's quite a nice one. I mean, you do sort of have to like citrusy, coconutty kind of smells to enjoy it. Um, but I do like that they've included this in the advent calendar, especially if you're someone who is going to be receiving this as a gift. I think it's a great way to try out something new. So there we go. Okay, number 10. Aha, here's another one that kind of swayed me to buy the advent calendar because it's one of my first memories of Lush, like really, really getting into Lush. And it's a bath bomb from Christmas 2018 um, that I bought, I think, yeah, in the Boxing Day sale, the after Christmas sale, because that's when I first really started to buy Lush. And this is the Cinder's bath bomb. Um, oh, oh, this advent calendar is worth it already. <laughs> oh, this smells so good. Oh, I love it. Um, so Cinder's, if you're familiar with Hot Toddy, there is similarities there, but I prefer Cinder's a lot more. I think Cinder's compared to Hot Toddy is more creamy. It's more spicy. It's just like everything's just elevated. It's amazing. If you're not familiar with Cinder's, it's basically a very, very spicy, sweet, um, creamy kind of scent. It's kind of like what I want Yognog to be like, but... <laughs> It's kind of like Yognog's crazy aunt, I guess. And it's Yognog's crazy sister. I mean, not Yognog, and Hot Toddy's crazy sister. That's basically what Cinder's is. It's a gorgeous scent. It's really nice. Now, I hope I'm remembering that correct for Christmas 2018. I know they had the Cinder's shower gel for Christmas 2018, but I can't remember if they had the bath bomb or not. If, I, if I'm just remembering things wrong. I don't know, but there you go. Okay, so what have we got next? Number 11. Okay, number 11. Okay, this is a brand new product as well. This is the Cinnamon Roll Bubble Bar. Now, it's funny that I mentioned Hot Toddy because this is actually meant to be Hot Toddy scented. So let me just check a little ingredients thing. A little ingredients thing. It's got cinnamon leaf oil, clove bud oil, lime oil, brazilian orange oil, benzoin resinoid, which is vanilla, patchouli, organic cinnamon powder, organic clove powder. Okay. I can tell I'm already going to like this. Oh, oh, I'm in heaven already. Okay. This is a very spicy scent. There is sweetness to it. It's not as sweet as cinders, like I said, and it's not as creamy as cinders. There's no sort of creaminess here. It's pretty much straight cinnamon and clove scented goodness. I mean, if you don't like spicy things, run away because <laughs> you're not going to like that. But if you're someone who loves like Christmas cookies, gingerbread cookies, Christmas cakes and those sorts of smells, you'll really love it. I think that's the most Christmassy smelling thing that I've smelt from Lush in a long time. That's probably my favorite thing. Okay, so we've got number 12 next. Okay, and this is one I have done a review on. This is also a part of the All Year Round product range. This is the Twilight Bath Bomb. As I mentioned before, it's the same scent family as the Sleepy um, products. And yeah, it's just a really nice lavender scent with some vanilla. And they do say that there's Lang Lang there. I don't really smell Lang Lang. It's more just lavender and vanilla. Yeah. So it's been a long time since I've had a Twilight Bath Bomb, but I'll take it. I won't say no. 
Okay, and the last one for this layer is number 13. This is another product that is exclusive to the advent calendar only. And this is the Chris Mouse Bubble Bar. It is a non-reusable bubble bar. Um, this is an older product um, from Lush. Once again, if you do know when the last time this was around, please let me know down below in the comments. Uh, it has got, for scent notes, Vanilla Absolute. That's it. Vanilla Absolute. Oh, and Anise Alcohol. So maybe a spicy note. Let me just see if I can smell some something here. Oh, you know what it smells like? It smells like um, creamy candy bubble bar. It smells like that to me. Creamy candy bubble bar. If you've ever had that, I think they still sell creamy candy, right? The bubble bar, the one with the, the rectangle one with the little flower in it. I think they still sell that, right? Yeah. Okay. So that is the first part of this video done. I am going to quickly pause this video and just move the products out of the way. Um, and I will join part two onto this. So give me one moment and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back for part two, which will be all in the same video for you guys back at home. Okay, uh, now we are going to get into the next layer, the last layer of this advent calendar, and we're starting at number 14. So number 14 actually has two items in it. It has got one of the cork pots, the lush cork pots, and it is looking like that on the inside and it's just big enough to fit the new shampoo bar now this is technically not a new product in Lush's range but I think it is quite appropriate that they included this one in the advent calendar because it's probably the most Christmassy smelling um, reusable shampoo bar that they have um, it's basically like a cinnamony, pepperminty kind of smell. It's the same scent family as Wiki Magic Muscles Massage Bar, if you've ever used that before. I'm just going to double check the scent ingredients here. It's got nettle absolute, rosemary absolute, clove bud oil, cinnamon leaf oil, and nettle and peppermint infusion. Okay, so it's meant to, it's, it does have some herbaliness to it as well. Hmm. It does pretty much smell like Wiki Magic Muscles to me, that cinnamony, pepperminty smell, but there is definitely like a nettle pine kind of smell as well. Hmm, it's a nice smell. Now, my opinion on the shampoo bars, if you are sort of newer to my channel and you haven't heard my opinion before, I'm not really a fan of them. I'm just going to be honest. I find they really dry out my hair personally. Um, they are quite heavy on the sulfate, SLS. Um, I... I don't see the need to completely de demonize SLS. I'm not one of those people who is completely sulfate free or anything like that, but there's something about this shampoo bar that just doesn't sit right with my hair. I love the liquid shampoos that Lush sells in general, but yeah, the shampoo bars are not my favorite, but I don't know if I've done a review on this yet or not. I will go through my playlist and double check. Um, if I haven't done a review on it, I will do one soon, but I'll probably probably be one of the last ones because I do want to try and get the Christmas reviews out first. So just a little FYI if you're wondering about that. Okay, so number 15 is the top corner. Oh, okay, this is another all year round product and it's also another one that I have a review on already. This is the Sleepy Body Lotion. Uh, this is sort of like a cult classic Lush product. It's been in their range for like four years now five years even. It's been a long time. It's pretty much the same as the bath bomb and the bubble bar that I was talking to you about earlier in the video. Lavender, quite heavy on the vanilla as well. Like the body lotion is more vanilla-y than the bath products I found. Uh, it does come, excuse me, it does come in a purple color. So like a lilac -y, purpley kind of color. Mm, it's really nice. I actually don't know if I have a sleepy lotion in my collection at the moment. So thank you, Lush. I need a sleepy body lotion probably. I don't tend to buy one because they tend to be in a lot of gift sets and things. And I usually just pick one up accidentally in a haul or something. So yeah, 
I don't go out of my way to buy sleepy lotion, if that makes sense. But I don't hate it or anything. It's a nice lotion. It's just something that I've had so many times now. I just want something new. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so the next one, I think this might be the last exclusive product. Okay, yes. I think, I think it is. Okay, yes. So this is the Thunder Snow bath bomb. Apparently, this is an old bath bomb as well. Let me know. Um, if you know the origins and the last time it was around, I would really love to hear about it. Uh, this has cocoa absolute, peppermint oil and gardenia extract. Oh, so it's like chocolate mint, I guess. <laughs> it is chocolate mint. <laughs> it smells like an aero bar. If you've ever had an aero chocolate bar or like choc mint ice cream. I like it. Okay, these exclusive products have been pretty good except Chris Mouse. I mean, come on. It smells pretty much like creamy candy, like I said before. Mmm. Oh, I would love a shower gel in this. Thunder snow scent, chocolate mint. Oh, wouldn't that just be a delight? This smells incredible. It smells absolutely incredible. I love it. Okay, number 17 is over here. Oh, it's one of the things that I've got so many bars of that I don't even know what to do with it anymore. <laughs> it's the Baked Alaska Soap. This is a classic Lush Christmas product. It's been in their range for ages. They've done so many different um, styles over the years. This is the 2021 version. Um, yeah, it, it, it's... If you've ever had a lush Christmas before, most people do love baked Alaska soap and most people do repeat buy it every Christmas. But for me personally, it's not my favourite. It is a fairly boring sort of citrus scent in my opinion. Uh, now the scent notes specifically are lemon myrtle oil, lang lang oil, grapefruit and gardenia. Once again, gardenia, not really. But it's it basically smells of grapefruit with a little bit of a lemon myrtle thing but i will just smell this just because they may have strengthened it a bit since nah it's pretty much the same i know i'm gonna get people in the comments going i love baked alaska how dare you i don't hate it okay i don't i don't hate it it's just boring for me it's boring okay if I want a soap with lemon myrtle, I'll go for Outback Mate. I think Outback Mate is far stronger and far better than Baked Alaska. Just my opinion. But if you're looking for a really nice refreshing kind of soap and you want something different and you haven't tried Baked Alaska before, this is a good option. You do have to like citrus scents though. Um, I don't really smell the floral side to this. I never have. So there we go. Okay, number 18 Okay, I am really excited about this. This is definitely something I'm pumped for. This is the Jolly Shower Gel. Um, I've been putting off buying big versions of the shower gels just because I knew that I was getting smaller ones in this box and it gave me an opportunity to try them before I committed to the big one. So let me just double check the ingredients. It's been a long time since I looked at the ingredients. Oh, hang on, it's on the bottle. Duh. Okay, so... Let's have a look. Oh, they've put the person's name over half the ingredients. Okay. <laughs> Love when that happens. Not. Okay. Um, cinnamon stick and orange infusion. Clove bud oil. Brazilian orange oil. Tangerine oil. Okay. So it's sounding kind of like citrusy, orangey, spicy goodness. Okay. I can get down with that. Oh, Okay. Okay, I do get spicy, I do get orangey, citrusy, but there is sort of like, once again, same with Merry Christmas, there's a candy-ish thing going on here. It's quite sweet and there is a creaminess as well. Hmm, strange. Not sure if I love it yet. I like it. Not sure if I love it. Hmm. It's very different to anything I've ever smelled at Lush. Um, I don't remember what people were comparing this to, but I think some people were making like comparisons on it. I can't really think of anything that smells like this because the orange smells really, really fresh to me. 
it doesn't smell like a manufactured orange hmm okay I think that this is quite different to hot toddy or anything else that's sort of Christmassy that I've tried so hmm that's definitely one that I'll have to get in the shower and give it a go before I can tell you for sure if I really like it or not okay number 19 okay yes this is a brand new Christmas product this is the orange pop bath bomb um, now let's see the ingredients it has Sicilian red mandarin oil, tangerine oil, bergamot oil, Brazilian orange oil. This is meant to be the same scent as the orange shower scrub, which was originally for Christmas 2020, and then they made it into an all-year-round product. I can tell you now, um, I haven't even got this anywhere near my nose, and it's so strongly scented, and it smells exactly like the shower scrub. I can tell you that now. Oh, it's so nice. So it basically smells like Fanta or like an orange soda, if you've ever had those. Um, it's quite sweet. But there is like a really natural side to it. It almost smells like a fresh orange as well, but there is a lot of sweetness as well. Oh, I can tell this is going to be a favorite. This is a really nice scent. I can tell already. It's just so refreshing. And especially because in the Southern Hemisphere, we celebrate Christmas when it's really freaking hot outside. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate Lush for thinking of us um in the southern hemisphere that have to swelter through christmas when we don't really feel like using spicy scents most of the time when it's really hot so yeah i really like that bath bomb that's really nice uh what is number 20 number 20 okay yeah okay i'm very excited about this um this is meant to be a new and improved version of the candy cane reusable bubble bar if you guys watch my candy cane review from Christmas 2020, you will know that I wasn't really happy with much of this product at all. I thought that the water was not greatly colored. I thought that the bubble bar didn't really give many bubbles and the bubbles disappeared really quickly. Um, so I'm really happy and excited that they've given it an update and they've changed the color slightly to this pinky color just so that people know that it is the different version of it. Um, so the ingredients are Sicilian lemon oil, bergamot oil, and peppermint oil. Okay, so yeah, candy cane obviously smells like peppermint. The one from 2020 basically smelled like a real candy cane, so it'll be interesting to see what this smells like. It smells exactly the same pretty much. I mean, the citrus is a little bit more strong in this, um, just a little bit more strong than the 2020 version, but the mint is the main thing going on here. It's sweet mint, like a candy cane would smell like. Hmm. Okay, so it'll be good to see how that goes and if it's any better than last year's version. Okay, 21 is this one in the corner. Aha, another classic Lush product, and this is available all year round. This is the Dream Cream Body Lotion. I've spoken about this on my channel quite a lot. I've done a few comparison videos between Dream Cream and the Body Shop and things from the Body Shop um, that could potentially replace this if you wanted a cheaper option. But Dream Cream is a classic for a reason. It is basically a sort of like a sensitive skin kind of lotion. Um, there is some essential oils in there, so obviously be careful with that if you do have really, really sensitive skin, but it's meant to be sort of like a savior for quite dry skin. Um, the scent notes specifically are rose water, uh, rose absolute, chamomile blue oil, tea tree, and lavender. Overall, it just smells like a really nicely balanced, herbally, florally scent. Uh, it's really nice. Yeah, and it's got this sort of like um, creaminess because of the lotion itself. It's got like a creamy, nutty kind of scent as well. It's really nice if you're looking for something at Lush that isn't like super scented either because I know some people don't love super scented products. So this is a great option for you as well. Okay, number 22 is the front one. Aha. Uh -huh. So... Hang on, I think this might be the exclusive product. Hang on. That means there's five exclusive products. I, I can't remember now. Um, this is a brand new version of the Sleepy Bath Bomb. I mean, whoever did this advent calendar this year was like, we need to go hard on Sleepy and Twilight this year because, yeah. 
this is a newer version of it. I don't think this is available in stores or anything because they've got the Twilight Bath Bomb, which is basically the same scent. Um, once again, lavender, lots of lavender, lots of vanilla. This is really vanilla-y compared to a lot of the Sleepy Twilight products. These little stars on the top are meant to glow in the dark. Um, they have done sort of glow in the dark things in the past. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to try that out. I think, I think, it, yeah, it is an exclusive advent calendar product, but I wouldn't be surprised if this comes back in some form or replaces Twilight eventually. Um, don't quote me on that, but I have a feeling it might. So we'll see how we go with that. Now, number 23. Aha, uh -huh. here's another product that I'm really excited about. It's the other shower gel this year. It is Plum Duff. Now, I was definitely curious to see how this would compare to Plum Rain. So um, let's see what it has in there. It has raisin infusion, uh, cedarwood oil, tangerine oil, benzoin resin oil, which is vanilla. So it doesn't sound overly similar to Plum Rain, the shower gel which they discontinued last year. A lot of people very bitter about that, including myself. It's got the same colour as Plum Rain normally would. Very deep purple colour. Ah. The raisin is really strong here. I can definitely smell like a rich fruitiness, which comes from sort of like a dried fruit scent. But there is that sort of freshness as well, um, coming from the tangerine, cedar wood. Yeah, I can sort of smell like a woodsy note as well. Okay, so, so far with the shower gels, I'm not like blown away with the initial scent, but with shower gels, you can never fully know until you actually use them in the shower. I think I'll like both of them. I don't think either of them will be like a super favorite of mine or something that I'll be like, oh my God, I love it. I just don't think they will be, but they're both nice. I think Plum Duff is nice because it's not too sweet. You would expect it to be super sweet with that raisin in there, but it's actually not too bad. Out of all of them so far, the Merry Christmas is probably my favourite, which is the Advent Calendar exclusive. So funny how that works. <laughs> okay, I have got two more. Okay, I have got number 24. Ah, yes. I completely forgot about this. So this is the Christmas lip scrub this year. This is the Golden Pineapple Lip Scrub. And it is... The packaging's lovely. I love this sort of holographic, golden, shiny thing going on here. It has, for the scent notes, Ginger Absolute Yellow Mandarin Oil lavage root oil hmm, i don't know what that is i'll have to go research it pineapple powder so pineapple and ginger is what i'm getting from this let's give it a sniff kind of smells like tropical cordial <laughs> you know when you buy tropical cordial um or like the stuff that you make sort of drinks out of kind of smells like that <laughs> The ginger's kind of weird here, but I feel that if it didn't have the ginger there, it would be really boring. So, kind of smells like pineapple lollies. If you've ever had like a pineapple lolly before or like a sweet or candy, whatever you call it, wherever you're from. I know they call them sweets in the UK. They call them candy in the US. We call them lollies in Australia. So, it's whatever. Once again, not sure how I feel about this. It's kind of strange this year. Like, so far, I haven't found anything that I'm, like, really in love with, but I haven't found anything that I really hate, which is so different to Christmas 2020, where there was lots of things that I loved and lots of things that I just didn't really like much at all. So it's interesting this year. It's very interesting. And then number 25, Christmas Day, I think they kept the best to last. This is the Keep It Fluffy Perfume in the 15ml size. I did do a review on this a little while ago. Unfortunately, I cannot purchase the 100ml perfume um, from Lush UK. They will not let me export it overseas. So you lucky ducks in the UK, you get to have the Keep It Fluffy all to yourself. Um, 
but I love this scent a lot. I did get like a little 10 mil rollerball. There was a little set that someone was selling, one of my friends um, in the Lush community and they offered it to me um, for sale and I loved it. I thought it was one of my favorite Lush scents in recent times. Um, basically it's a sophisticated floral scent. It's got a little bit of a powderiness. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like rich women. It smells like rich businesswoman, you know, it, it just exudes class and just that sort of feeling. Uh, if you want to know the scent notes, it's got Rose Absolute, Pakistani Rose Absolute, I should say, Jasmine Absolute, Lemongrass Oil, Lang Lang Oil, Vanilla Absolute. Now, I don't really get lemongrass from this. Personally, I really don't. I think it's there sort of to freshen things up and not make it smell so old lady. You know, that's what makes it like rich businesswoman lady and not old lady because there's not much powderiness going on. Oh, so good. I do, I will, not I do, I will have a review of the Keep It Fluffy bubble bar coming soon. I think I've already done one, but there's there was a newer version that they released earlier this year. Uh, so I will be doing a review on that. Um, and yeah, I will le link the Keep It Fluffy down below as well, the perfume review. Okay, so that is the advent calendar done. So overall, what do I like? I'm just going to pop this little box down. Okay, if I had to pick, okay, if I had to pick five things out of this that I had to keep and the rest to get rid of, here's what I would keep. Obviously, keep it fluffy perfume. Merry Christmas shower gel, 100%. The orange pop bath bomb, I just love the scent already. I think, yes, Cinder's bath bomb, obviously. And the cinnamon roll bubble bar. And then if I could pick a sixth, I would say the Hey Hollywood bath bomb as well. But like I said, oh, and the Thunder Snow. The Thunder Snow was really good as well. That bath bomb, this one. Like I said, I, I'm i sort of like, I like it. I like this advent calendar. I'm liking the range of scents. I think for if you don't like sleepy or twilight, like lavender vanilla scents, you might kind of hate this advent calendar because there's a lot of that going on here. There is... One, two, three, four, five sleepy scented products in this advent calendar out of 25. So a fifth of this advent calendar is sleepy slash twilight scented. So it wouldn't be worth it for you. Now, in terms of getting the advent calendar, it's going to vary from region to region. Um, it depends if they have any leftover stock from the pre-orders. I had to pre-order mine back in September um, to get it for late October which is now when I'm unboxing this and sharing this with you um some lushes have been known to put them out on boxing day slash after Christmas sale days uh so look you may get lucky after Christmas you may get lucky in a local store it's just one of those things with the advent calendars they do change it every single year how they do it they sort of they do what they like. It's lush. So if you do have a hard time getting it, I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can really do about it. It's just the way lush conducts things. But you can always ask in store. Um, you can always ask online with the online chat and see if they have one for you. Uh, now, in terms of next year, 2022, I'm not sure if I'll get the advent calendar next year just yet. I will wait to see what is in it. I'll wait to see how they're going to process it because... Yeah, waiting until late October for a reviewer like me wasn't really a good thing um, because a lot of these reviews are already out on other channels and that sort of puts me behind the back foot um, in terms of getting these done for you and for you guys who want to purchase Christmas stuff early or you want to enjoy them early. So, yeah, not sure, not sure. I haven't made up my mind yet. But, yes, overall, I do like this advent calendar and I would recommend it. But like I said, you do need to like sleepy slash twilight, but I do think it gives a good overall view of most of the Christmas products and most of the things in the Christmas range. I don't feel like it's missing anything. I think it's got a good balance of everything. Um, it just depends if you have a bath, obviously this is a good option. If you don't have a bath, it's probably not going to be worth it for you because they are a lot of bath centric products. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13. So basically over half, just over half the advent calendar is bath products. So something to keep in mind as well. Thank you so much for watching this advent calendar unboxing. I hope you liked it. I hope I didn't bore you too much or go on too much. Let me know down below in the comments what you want to see reviewed first because I will always give priority to the things that people want to see first if I have a specific request for it. Um, I'm thinking of just re-reviewing re the Polar Bear Soap just because the scent might be different and also the Baked Alaska just because I have them here even though they're probably going to be the same. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Uh, good news as well. For those of you who have stuck around, I have just got a new job. I'm so excited. Uh, so there will be a little bit less time for content on the channel, but I do start next week. So I have just enough time to try and review everything for you and get all the Christmas reviews out for you. Um, but I'm really excited. I'm working at a warehouse for a beauty company. I'm not going to say which company, obviously, um, for privacy reasons, but just know it's a big beauty company. Um, and I'm really excited to be working there over Christmas and I hope it turns into something more permanent. So thank you to everyone who has sent me messages of hope, messages of support um, and has listened to me and has shared your stories in regards to employment and things like that. I really appreciate it. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for being so loyal to my channel. I couldn't do this without you guys. I just love seeing your messages. I love seeing your comments. It just makes me so happy um, that you guys get some sort of enjoyment out of what I do here. So yes, if you haven't already subscribed, if you're still here and you haven't already subscribed, please do. I really love doing Lush unboxings and reviews. It's my favorite thing to do on this channel um, and it's how I really built my channel. So I'm definitely going to keep doing Lush stuff way into 2022 as well. So please stay tuned for that and stay tuned for the reviews. But until next time, take care and I hope to see you again really, really soon. Bye for now, guys.